pretty much very loosely like a get ready with me but not really because <laughs> this is like the first episode of this new series I really want to start where I pretty much just take you through the beginning of like how I pair everything like how I basically put a whole look together like from head to toe I don't know what I want to call this series necessarily because I have plans for like different ways on how I go about doing this um I'm gonna show you like how I pair my hair makeup outfits I don't know what I'm gonna title this series yet um, I'm probably gonna put a poll here of like the two options that I have on like do I want to do it like head to toe series or like to the nines I don't know and if you have a suggestion please provide <laughs> I have an idea in my head of like what makeup I want to go for when I'm putting together a look like an outfit and stuff I usually start with like one part of the whole entire vibe that I want to have since as y'all probably know I'm really into makeup I'm really into beauty I'm into skincare my skin currently has like my morning routine like the products just soaking um, so I know what look I want to go for makeup wise today, but sometimes it starts out the opposite where it's like I have an outfit in mind or like there's an article of clothing that I own that I want to wear and then I'll go base a whole outfit on that and then from there it'd be like what kind of hair would I have with this? Like what kind of style would I want to do my hair in? How would I want to do my makeup to kind of complement the outfit? I like everything to be cohesive and kind of go together in general. And we're now at my vanity not really vanity it's like a shelf but it doesn't just have makeup on it there's miscellaneous stuff and skincare it's a vanity and i'm going to do my makeup but i'm going to very loosely explain to you like kind of what i'm gonna do and i'm probably gonna speed through here so you'll see me do it but not i'm not gonna walk you through this isn't a tutorial this is just basically like pairing stuff together and stuff and like how i do that but this is gonna not be a tutorial on like what I'm actually doing. If you want a tutorial on the look I'm doing, let me know. I can do that. I wanna do, cause I saw, I've been seeing a lot of pastel hues and everything lately. Um, I'm also really in a graphic liner at the moment. So I really wanna do like a pastel blue, cause I wanna do blue. I'm gonna do a pastel blue eye and I want to have like cool tones basically all over the face. I'm going to do pastel blue and I'm going to show you like different eyeshadows that I may use because I haven't started so I don't know exactly what I'm going to use but I definitely want to dip into my Sugar Pill Fun Size palette. Um, I actually reviewed this palette. It's one of the first videos that y'all will see on this channel. Um, if you want to know my feelings and me talk more in detail about this palette, um, can I do an eye? I don't know how many I'm allowed to use. We might make this difficult for a future me, but if you want to see my review on this palette, it should be up in the eye. Basically, really want to dip into this shade, which is 8-bit. Honestly, the best and most unique shade in this entire palette. Don't at me. Blue shimmer. Oh, it's this shade, Adoration. It's a duochrome. Like, it looks white in the pan, but when the light hits it, do you see that reflectiveness? Hold on, I'm trying not to blind you, but it's this one. It like turns into like this like bluey lavendery gorgeousness and this is in the poison garden palette I'm just gonna use some single eyeshadows that I have for my single eyeshadow collection I desperately want more so lethal I'm coming for you I just want you to know be ready cuz I'm coming um I have some pastel blue eyeshadows in here as well um, a lot of these are from Coastal Scents because I wanted to experiment with single eyeshadows to see if I would actually use them and they're really inexpensive. They're not bad eyeshadows, they're actually pretty good. I might use this shade. This is Cornflower Blue by Coastal Scents. Um, and for skin, I have a few different foundations that I've been trying out recently. Personally, I've really been loving the Narshear Glow. Um, this is not cheap, but you can pretty much get the exact same thing as this with the next Born to Glow, which is $9.99 girl at Ulta. Go get you one. They have such a good shade range on this too. I'm in the shade Nutmeg for this one. And if you're curious for sheer glow, I'm in Macau. Recently, I actually received um, from Octoly um, and Becca Cosmetics. Like they both like, I don't know. It's weird, but like I from Octoly, I got the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. 
Um, I am in the shade, what is this? Maple. So we're done with my makeup. So here we are in my bathroom. Again, y'all have seen me being here before because literally, is this gonna be the video I post after my hair Q&A? I don't know. But either way, we're now taking off my hair turban. There's contour all around the edges of my hair towel, but it's whatever because I'm washing clothes today anyway. Washed my hair, as I stated today, was my, or is my wash day because I wash my hair every weekend, usually on Saturdays. So I washed it with the Carol's Daughter Fortifying Shampoo and Conditioner. So my hair is well detangled, well moisturized. It feels very soft and like fluffy and everything. It's kind of damp. It's been in like my hair towel since I got out of the shower and while I was doing my makeup and everything. So maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. It's still wet, like it's damp at this moment. So I'm thinking with how my makeup is because it's pastel, it's very like ethereal and like angelic and cute. I might do something kind of reminiscent of like a hairstyle that like my mom used to do to my hair when I was little, which I don't know. Thinking that I might, I don't know if I wanna like blow dry out my hair or not, but I'm thinking big hair. I'm thinking big. Just very like large. Use this, this is the Shea Moisture to make the black casserole strengthen and restore styling lotion. I like this line. I think it works really good for my hair. I like this styling lotion because it's like thinner, but like not too thin. Like it absorbs in my hair really well. I think the thicker stuff doesn't really get me penetrate my hair all the time. I'm gonna use this actually. So this is again the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength at Length um, Leave-In Cream. We use this, and for like keeping my hair kind of like semblance of protected while I'm like diffusing and stuff. I'm actually gonna use the Shea Moisture Reconstructive Finishing Elixir. <laughs> my hair looks so brown in this view, uh, currently on camera. And this is also like my natural hair color. That's what I was saying when I was like mentioning in my hair cuna, cause even when I went back and was editing that video, I was like, my hair looks like it's just like a normal, dark brown black kind of color but it's like no my hair naturally does this i didn't i've never moisturized my hair it just looks like this i don't know why it just comes from the root really dark and then the longer my hair gets the more brown it gets
we're now in my closet. Thought I came out of this, but here we are. So I'm thinking that in my current outfit that I have on, I have on this like micro cropped hoodie because I can't crop things correctly without cropping them too short. So it's a micro cropped hoodie. This is literally the end of the fabric. It's gone. Um, some high waisted jeans. I feel like this is a cute outfit that actually kind of goes with this look. I give like three different options for like three different comfort levels. So because I feel cute, but little baddie situation, I am gonna stick with like micro crop stuff. So we're definitely gonna go with an outfit that's gonna have like a crop top in it. Now which one, I don't know. So we'll go with this fishnet mesh see-through type of shirt. And we see black jeans paired together. It'll give me like a little bit of edge, a little bit of like flair as well because this is more like a boxier fit and the jeans will give me a bit of shape and everything. And jeans, I think I'll keep it cute and simple by pairing it with some Converse. Look number two, we're gonna kinda keep with the child like, like feeling like a youngin, which I guess could be argued that I am. Um, I'm gonna wear this overall dress. I think this would be so cute. With these, these are like fully off brand like creepers, but like the heeled version. Oh, I kind of do like an outfit with a skirt since we've got an outfit with pants, got an outfit that's a dress, and then we kind of need a skirt, I think, you know? I think that'd be fun. Front A-line skirt, and to kind of keep with that very soft vibe and stuff that I feel like this skirt kind of gives me, I'm gonna pair it with, oh, this could be cute. Yeah, I think that'd be really cute. Oh, wait, no, but then I could also just pair it with like this turtleneck. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I think this will be really cute. So those are all three of the looks of like putting outfits and stuff together pretty much from like head to toe. When it comes to like jewelry, I am probably not going to change much jewelry throughout like showing you the actual try it on outfits and that's simply because I don't feel like, like since it's kind of going with the same face, same hair, just a different silhouette, the jewelry may not change very much because the vibe itself of the outfit is going to be pretty consistent along the same lines so there's no need for me to really change jewelry again the earrings are from charlie roos kind of pair my rings in very similar ways every single time i wear them so this is like when i wear like moonstone rings this is kind of what i mean so people usually ask me about where i got them from this one i got from a crystal shop hold on i don't know if you can see it this one i got from a crystal shop in this place kind of it's called old town it's like in kissimmee Orlando ish area. If you're from Florida, you probably know kind of the area where I'm talking about. Um, it's got like the those purple like light posts and stuff outside that kind of let you know that you're kind of in Orlando Disney area. There's lots of tourist traps around there. And this one is like a double crescent ring. I got it years ago, I think off of like Wish somewhere. It hasn't tarnished, so I don't know what it's actually made of, but it's I don't think it's real silver. So, <laughs> and then this one is like one that I wear on my middle finger and it's got like stars and moons and stuff on it. That one is from Amazon. Same with this one. It's got like crescent moons on the side and then in the middle is a moonstone and it's from Amazon as well. If I can find links to the ones that are in on Amazon, I think I've seen one similar to this one on Amazon as well. I'll try to link those down below so you can shop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. I hope it was like entertaining. Maybe give you some ideas on stuff. Like I like 
I hope we could all talk about like how we think about getting dressed, you know? Cause we all get dressed and everything, but it's like very interesting to see how someone may pair things together. This is also the first in the series. I plan on doing a video similar to this, but with different makeup looks, different hairstyles, um, maybe different kinds of vibes that I want to put off when it comes to putting together outfits. I just want to kind of get into the nitty gritty on that sort of thing and just kind of give you all an inside peek on how I do that because it's interesting. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see some more cool content. I do post like makeup, fashion, lifestyle-y kind of videos and such like that. If you want to see more of me because I post on the daily, on the reg, on Instagram, my handle is at ugh, U-G-H dot K-E-R-R-I-A. Um, if you want to follow my Tumblr where I post outtake pictures and behind the scenes sort of stuff and I just kind of say things <laughs> follow my tumblr that's also linked down below if you want to see my aesthetic recipes i'm trying out things i'm into at the moment follow my pinterest that will also be linked in the description bar what else do i link depop <laughs> if you ever want to shop my lovely closet here um and see cool pieces that i have up for sale and just kind of um can't really wear anymore I like don't really fit me anymore or I just don't feel like altering um that will, those sorts of things are listed on my depop so you can go check that out and it's linked down below as well and I think that's pretty much it for me at the moment um I hope to talk to y'all soon see you somewhere on the internet hope y'all are staying safe entertained sane and in the meantime take care